Um, well, actually, the autonomous driving and highly automated driving is very closely related to the safety. So once you are thinking about this technology, you think always immediately uh, uh, about safety. And, uh, uh, and it, it is not a commodity feature. So it is a sa the, 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 the function, the, the functionality, the system should be safe. So that's f just for the first point of view. And uh, we think once those uh, these technology is mature, that uh, that uh, that would, would increase the the safety on uh, the, the safety on the roads. Uh, first, we think on the highway. So that would be I think it would be have an immediate impact on the highway because the task of driving in the highway is quite a little bit easier than uh, to cities. And we hope that once the, the technology would increase in her, its maturity, that uh, this would be also the case in an urban area and even in rural area. Uh, but we have to address this issue. That means we have to make safe technology and safe automated driving to achieve those, uh, those uh, goals. So this is actually also a major uh, target or a major vision of TÜVZUD because we are an inspecting and a testing institute and we are also relating and releasing an approving system to be safe for use for customer for society. And, uh, and we, we th since uh, an autonomous or automated uh, uh, driving car is quite a little bit complicated, so the procedures to give them type approval or to say, well, it is a safe system, would be kind of a little bit more complicated than we have used to for other more, let me say, more or less simple system. And uh, we are now working on finding the correct methodologies, the correct techniques to be able to test those vehicles be before they hit the road. And let's say we give them the approval to, to, uh, to travel on the road. So this is one target. And the second target is to be also how to be, to, to be able to inspect uh, the functionality of the automated driving throughout through, uh, the whole life cycle of, uh, of a passenger car. And those two, uh, two major uh, topics we are addressing in TÜVSUIT right now. Um, I think I think since the uh, the, the the most the, the casualties are mostly caused by by human errors. Uh, human errors are due to uh, to when when you're tired or when you're distracted or when you are not in control of the vehicles. So we think that these causes would be eliminated once the technology is mature. So we could reduce dramatically. The, uh, the casualties and, uh, and, uh, and the person damage on the roads. Uh, so that would be for sure. But we have, first of all, to be able to say that it's the case. And this is actually what, are, what we are working for. So uh, once we have a car that could drive uh, automatically, we could surely approve that it would avoid accidents. Uh, well, it's a kind of hard, tough question, but uh, I just can give a guess. I, I don't think so that we have those uh, autonomous vehicles in the next 10 years. I guess it would be in 20 years, something like that. I hope so. Uh, and I hope that there would be no bottlenecks from the regulatory point of view, also from the technological point of view, that, uh, that will kill this, uh, this technology. Because that is still now a new idea, kind of, we, have, we are working uh, um, on this technology mostly about two, in, uh, or it is uh, uh, the last couple of years and we don't know if there is some aspect that will completely uh, block this technology but if everything goes uh, uh, um, uh, in, uh, in a normal way I guess 20 years we will need at least to have fully autonomous vehicle driving safely in, uh, on public roads.